سميت بمواقع التواصل الاجتماعي اسم لم يكن على مسمى 100% ربما لأنها قربت الناس من بعضها في التواصل بالكلام ومتابعة حياة بعضهم البعض لكن أبعدتهم عن التواصل الجسدي الترابط الأسري فبتنا نعزي الميت عبر رسالة أو تعليق على فيسبوك نهنئ المرتبطين بلايك أو ستيكر نعبر عن فرحتنا أو حزننا بصورة أو أغنية كحد أقصى السوشيال ميديا نجحت في تكبير ورم الاي دي او ما يعرف باللغه العربيه بالهو الغريزه الحيوانيه في مكنون الانسان جعلتنا نعيش في فقاعه من عالم خاص لا نعرف من الواقع الا ما هو مفلتر في صور الانستغرام او ما هو منمق في كابشن الصوره على الفيسبوك لينا درحالي اخصائيه في علم النفس وكاتبه من اصل لبناني نجحت في اختراق اللاوعي الفردي والجماعي فوجدت خيط العلاقة بين السوشيال ميديا والنرجسية في دراستها. is defined not only by self-centeredness and attention seeking, which is you know, what we come to associate with social media. The cover of my book, for example, has a woman taking a selfie you know, with her duck lips, like going like that. And so I think that's what generally everybody in the world associates with the narcissism of social media is the person who's obsessed with the way they look and wants all the attention on them. And that is definitely part of it. And that is definitely a problematic part of it. But what people don't really understand is the full definition of narcissism is really centered around three things, which is lack of empathy, entitlement, and exploitation. And so my book not only examines how social media correlates with self-centeredness and attention-seeking behaviors, but also how it reduces people's empathy, increases entitlement, and exploits other people. And it also shows people how they can identify specific types of narcissists on social media and how narcissists who use social media to harm other people, you know, what, what they can look out for and how that affects their mental health. We can become addicted to posting because the likes and the valid validation of getting all these likes and attention on our posts hit the uh, dopamine in our brain, which is, you know, feel good chemicals in our brain are being activated. when we're getting these likes on our posts and comments and all of this and this creates an addiction cycle دراسة لينا المعمقة في السلوك الاجتماعي للأفراد أوصلها إلى نتائج التي تتحدث عنها في محاضراتها في الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية. Recruiting others on social media and it's sort of related to nationalism and dangerous nationalism when we look at things like war and conflict collective narcissists can use social media to recruit others or to sow division and hatred. And so anytime we have somebody who's narcissistic, whether they're a cyber bully or they're trying to sow division or hatred politically or otherwise, that's um, usually correlated to a narcissist. And so دراسة لينا تستأهل المتابعة، ربما يستطيع الإنسان أن يضبط تفلت سلوكه الاجتماعي المتأثر بتفلت الضوابط على مواقع التواصل الاجتماعي.